Yeah. Welcome back to the channel. You little shit. <laughs> Let's pick some sales before Monday swings around fast and creeps up on me and then I've got loads to do. Actually, I think most of it hasn't got to be shipped until Tuesday, Wednesday. Bank holiday, isn't it? Yes. Although my car boots were called off today. Today's a Sunday because it's pissing down outside. First thing for three pounds, I sold it on Vinted, the Nintendo charger. I had this for a while. Listen, on, on eBay, you're getting about eight or nine quid after fees, after everything else. You're left with about three quid anyway. So I just moved it on on there. Still going strong. I've not had one jam, not had one problem. I, honestly, it's annoying me how much I'm actually rating it. I wanted to be like, it's just a sponsorship deal. The first few things are okay. Yeah, it's good. I honestly love it. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how many resellers have done a video on it. I don't care how many sponsorships have been thrown around from it. I am loving it. I've got no wires. I used to have a wire trailing from here to here or wherever I was to wherever my printer was while I was doing my shipping. Now I don't know. It's all just packing area. I love it. I can't, I can't like it enough. And they're not sponsoring me again. But the link is in the description down below. Right, eBay now. Let's get some eBay ones. Okay, so, so this one is actually from yesterday's car boot sale. I sold two things from yesterday. I just got home, listed, then did the video, put it out there, all in the same day. Only problem is, John, I can't find it. That sound you can hear, can you hear that cracking? I don't know if you can, but if you can, that's the sound of the heat changing the shape of my garage door. Let's have a look for this item, shall we? What, what box is it in? C, box C. There it is. Let's play I saw this. I saw this while I was buying a couple of... <laughs> I saw this while I was buying a couple of things and I wanted to bring the average. I spoke about it yesterday I'm quickly. I spoke about it yesterday quickly about how when I'm car booting, when I'm booting, I will use quick selling low value items to help bring down the average on the day. Now I knew this wouldn't last very long. I think there's a pound or 50p after I did a bundle or something like that. And there's a few things like that that I picked up that had strong brand names, big companies, high use, high need. And, I'll, and even if I sell for three or four quid profit, so like maybe a five or six quid sale, I'll pick them up because they start to bring down the average on the day. All of these quick selling, low profit items will sell fast, leaving the higher profit, longer tail items to not cause as much damage on the cash flow because I've already clawed a lot of it back. Does that make sense? That's on its way to you, John. I sold that for, what did I sell it for? Let's play again. I listed it for 10 99 free postage, so I'm guessing he might have used a coupon code, I would have done. Uh, nine pound, I don't know, it's 10 pounds 99 was the sale price. John, massively appreciate you, brother. Happy birthday to you, little girl. Let's play a game. Will you fit into this box? I've got a watch in here somewhere that I just can't find. I don't know where it is. I'm beeping since before I moved and then since after I moved it's beeping in the new place. I actually need to go over to the unit this week. I need to finish that off. I need to get it done. Look at that John. Perfect fit my man. I wonder if I've got anything else a little girl would like. What have I got? Uh, let me check the message first. See if he tells me if she's a toddler or not. My daughter's first birthday. Yeah, no, nah, there's nothing I can give her. I hope she loves the Elmo, my man. <laughs> Everything I've got is so either got choking parts or breaking parts. Or have I? No, I don't think I've got anything suitable, man. No, I'll get over it. 
another one that was bought and sold yesterday. 1997 Kyle South Park Money Box. It is a fantastic little piece of kit. A few little touch-ups, a few little marks, nothing drastic. Quite hard to come by now. I think there was only one listed online when I was listing mine. There was only one and I went up a couple of quid cheaper. I think it was Luke that picked this up. So massively appreciate you, Luke. This cost me £2 and it sold for about £15.29 plus £2.99 posted. So £15, £18.99-ish all in. So after postage and everything comes off, I'll probably make about 12 quid. Banger. Money back plus a tenner. Luke, you the man, man. Luke, you the man, man. Luke, you the man, man. I recognised his username on my eBay as a repeat customer. And then I recognised seeing it somewhere on my... Because I've been going through my Instagram list. My recent, my most interactive with, my least interactive with, and all these types of things. Some of you know I've unfollowed a lot of you. Some of the unfollows have been... What's the word? Um, like I shouldn't have done. Basically, I was going through all of my least interactive with and just going... Wasn't even looking. Some of you are really good friends of on there. I just don't interact with you, but I, sh I don't want to remove you from Instagram. So, like I said before, if that's happened, reach out if you care. But yeah, I saw Luke and I was like, I know this guy. I've seen this guy on there. So, Luke, big up, mate. I appreciate it. Top banana. Doesn't fit in that box. But that's okay, because I got one just here. It's already pre filled. So, we'll just pop it in here. Pop that down there. Pop that in there. Maybe cut it down a bit because it's still quite big. Yeah. I've mentioned it before. I use a lot of tape, I'm very aware of that, don't care. But when you resize a box, you always have to use a little bit more. You've got to try and really get around these edges just here because you've got a lot of pressure and a lot of force is being placed on that. Yeah, I've just look, hardly any of this needs to go out until like Monday, Tuesday, but why would I want to learn, what's the word? Little Jaffa Cakes, man, I brought it yesterday. I don't, I don't think I showed it much. I showed it quickly. I, I, I looked in the edit. I didn't really say what it was. So it's a vintage Jaffa Cakes, man. Jaffa Cakes. Oh, I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick a winner for one of those stickers today. Yeah, let's do that today. Get through a few more items first, though. Box G Ixus Two Forty. Canon Ixus Two Forty. I've already pre bubble wrapped it. I can't really show you much more than that. So it's the camera and the battery only. No charger, no lead, no nothing. Sold for, I think I took an offer. It sold for £80.99 plus £3.99 postage. So it might be a bit extreme, but I had that small box. I put it inside an eBay box and I'm going to put it in the bag. Shit. Oh, so we're going to do UPS on that one. Can anybody remember what video it was that I did the giveaway sticker thing on? Nobody's live, we're not live now, so I can't, I can't answer me, can you? Stupid boy. And another camera, this is the Hitachi HD whatever, whatever, whatever. It's not worth too much, listed it for £19.99 plus postage. Took an offer of £16. I got my cam caddy out the other day, I went through loads of cameras that I had lying around in different boxes because obviously I've been moving so I found loads of different bits and pieces again. Again, camera and battery only. No memory card, no charger. So that last one, not this one, was touchscreen. That's why it was so expensive. It's cool. It's a cool camera, man. It's a cool camera. I almost kept it. I was thinking about keeping a camera like that because I've got a couple of lying, lying around. I've got another Sony one there as well for doing like the YouTube videos and stuff. But I just, I like the way that this auto focuses, you know, you can come wherever you want to go. You can do all this and do all that. And it's just like quick auto focus when you're not in cinema mode. And I like that. Do you know what I mean? I'm not a massive travel blogger. I'm not a food vlogger where I need to zoom in on my couscous. Do you know what I mean? I just 
stand there and tell you what's been selling, what I've been up to, what's going on. Don't need to overthink it. So some of you YouTubers out there that are massive, like, I overthought it before. Do you remember like last year I brought a, um, brought a digital camera? What was that camera I brought? Like a real nice touchscreen flip out thing, brought like boom mics and for, for, for doing this, it's pointless in my opinion. You, you can do it. If you've got the energy, the time, the money to piss around with all of that, good on you. I have, I've got a pair of Bluetooth microphones that I just, all I've got to do is do this when I'm doing these videos. I can hardly be bothered to do that. But no offence to you though, I just don't feel like you appreciate it enough. Do you know what I mean? I don't appreciate it. When I hear like resellers going around with mics, I'm like, I, I hear it, I hear the difference. I don't appreciate it or disappreciate it. John Luke, I'm not calling you out. I know you do it before you start going, it's fucking calling me out, little fucking grey haired man. Shut up, John. No, I just thought it would be just that second. What I'm trying to say is, I don't feel like the reselling community appreciate it enough. And me being a reseller, whether I, I appreciate it enough. Let me know, I could be wrong. I could be ever, ever, ever wrong. Right, what's next? This did loads of shit yesterday. This is sold. Lovely Panasonic cassette player. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Hey, oh, yeah. Look at that. Everything's in there as well. Headphones, plug, charger, everything. Don't work though. Nah, knackered. Sold it for £35 plus £2.99 post. It's a £100 item normally, sometimes a £100. Plus. I'm guessing what they can do is either fix it or break it down, sell the plug separately, sell the headphones separately, sell the adapter separately, then sell the tape machine separately. I don't know. Who knows? Well, I did some research onto it and to change the belt, apparently you've got to be good at soldering. So I thought I'm not going to, I'm not even going to attempt that. I've got a little bag down there of belts and things for if I ever need to do a belt change on a cassette player. But when I looked onto that, just a little bit out of my league that is soldering at the moment. I've had a few attempts at it, at soldering in my life. I normally just, I normally just give up and throw the item in the bin <laughs> or send it to iFixit. Do you know what? I've not seen his name on Instagram for a while. I wonder if he's still active or if I've deleted him by mistake. This is what I'm saying. If I don't, if I don't hear from you, you end up in a least interactive file. Uh, I fix it. Is that his name? I fix it. Shit, I can't remember his name. Really, 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 really nice bloke. So I feel massively, uh, Look a right cock that I can't remember his actual name. Really nice bloke. He like does soldering and stuff and fixes things and whatever else. Shit, if you remember, bro, pop up man, because I can't remember your username. I'm sure it's not a bit, oh, fix it for reselling, that's it. How did that just come into my head? Fix it. Fix it for reselling. There he is. Neil Flintwood. Oh, I think he's changed his name and everything back. <clears throat> oh no, 98 weeks ago. That's last year. So that's obviously his private account. Is that his private account? Or has he just unfollowed me? Let me check the messages. No, that's his private account. So let me check his YouTube, see if his YouTube's still active. Neil, that's his name. He's a lovely, lovely bloke, man. Lovely. Retro Electric Repair, his name is on there now. Okay, last video two months ago. So he's kind of still active. I found his Instagram. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a PS4 that is not accepting discs. The eject button's working, it's beeping, so the disc drive is obviously getting some power. Yeah, I think he's deleted that page. Mr. Fix It for reselling. I'm gonna give you a shout out on here. Absolutely lovely dude, Neil. What was my point on that tangent? Oh yeah, he used to buy things at this and fix it. Well, I've sold one of these, but I don't know which one it is. Uh, I've got to try and find a distinguishing mark. There we go. So that's on the, the line across there. That's the one. Oh, but quite a well-respected name in the bowls community. He's a junior bowl. Sold them really cheap, actually, for like £16 free postage, I think. No, 
annoyingly one to two kilos on that one. Decided to sit down for a little break. See if anything comes to my mind to talk about. It's hard to talk to a camera without having anybody to respond to. Does that make sense? Respond to it. That's sold. Let's dig that out. Hold on a minute. Do that next. So my eBay has been dying a death recently because of all the move. No, I can only do so much on my own. I've done well, done okay. But my eBay suffered. I think my lowest my eBay dropped to was 154 items, like last week. It's now just over 200 again now. And I've sold loads as well. Like at the car boot yesterday, you saw I was being more selective with my big purchases. And I was happy to spend up as I was spending like £20 on 10 VHSs and you know £20 on bowls and stuff. And that's not really a spend, that's just a bargain. What am I talking about? But instead of going around trying to get everything for 20p, 50p a pound, spending up, and then as I'm out there thinking about what's low value and what sells fast, that can bring the average down of the day. So all I'm thinking about is quality items, quality listings, and obvious fodder. Fodder is okay. You are okay to sell low value items. If it's a cat food tray with self-feeding flaps, And it sells for four pounds ninety nine free posters, and it costs you twenty p. And it sells a thousand a month. Buy it, sell it. Why not? You'll make a quid or so after fees and postage, and it'll bring the average of your spend down for the day. But yeah, I feel like I'm finally making some headway again. Is that the right word? Headway, edgeway. I'm making some progress again on my eBay store, building it back up again. I told you before, even though I was narrating that it was dying over the last few weeks, I also made a point of saying it will come back. You know, it's not going to die forever. I've got stuff. I've got the tenacity. I've got the ability to go and get stuff and put the stuff on my eBay and bring it back. And that's what I've done. We're nowhere near where we need to be yet, but we are a complete 180 from where we was last week. So it just goes to show that any of you that are struggling with your eBay and you're not actually listing stuff and listing good stuff and competitively, Think about that. I'm not telling you what to do, you do you. Do you know what I mean? Just telling you what I do and what I've done over and over again, time and time again. And that's when I see the most traffic. My little arrows have gone from all red to all green in five days. So I got a ring doorbell the other day. It's fucking fantastic. Welcome to modern times, Ricky. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's funny. Right, let's pack some more stuff. Just had an offer on an item, the hairdryer, that I know I've actually thrown away recently, so I must have slipped that one. Right, listed for $39.99 plus post. This sold on an offer. This sold for $39.98 plus $3.99. Wait, what did I sell it for? What? Hold on. Yeah, $35.99 plus $3.99, so about 40 quid for this one plus battery. It needs a good charge, but it does hold the charge well. It's for the Ryobi series. I listed it competitively. I think they're selling for about 60 quid pre-owned. So I listed it 39.99 and it sold like that. Unless your shop is absolutely filled with mega rare stuff only, eBay is a competitive platform. You have to be competitive. It's okay buying stuff and then getting emotionally attached to it, but then how are you going to reduce it if you're attached to it? I get like that on certain things like the m, &M t-shirt that I had and certain things that I actually like myself, I'm happy to like not let them sell. And if I don't sell for a certain amount of time, I'll be like, ah, it's never going to sell. I'll just keep it. But things like everyday reusable sundries or things like that, for example. So I keep, I need to turn my notifications off. You've got to be competitive. There was probably 80 of these listed at the time that I listed it. I just went £20 cheaper. But obviously, if you're still in that phase where you're learning and you're still overpaying for items, then you're going to get yourself in a bit of a sticky sitch, aren't you? And when I first started this life, I overpaid for a lot of stuff. And um, under a kilo, get up there. And I found myself getting attached to stuff financially, because which gave me an emotional attachment, because I was emotionally attached to the money. Therefore, I was emotionally attached to the item and didn't want to sell it for X amount. If you get stuff cheap enough, you don't have to do that. Come on. Box F and box Q. Box F is what? Box F is these. 
and box Q. But box F for £7.19 all in. I was listing loads of trains. These were just there. I wasn't going to not do it. I was taking pictures. I might as well have done it. Probably wouldn't have gone out of my way to take photos just alone of these. But because I was doing four carriages, two carts, two trains, and loads of other bits, might as well. £7.19 for Annie and Clarabelle. And for £7.20 all in, some Sony lenses. I listed these ages ago. Sony lenses will be easy to ship. I need some boxes that are just a bit smaller than those eBay boxes, do you know what I mean? Really, I need to buy some. I'll get those packed up. Next up, for £13.50 all in, we have the Xbox Power Brick and Adapter. This is for the original 360, I do believe. I'll tell you, as much as I love this tripod, the way that this head moves, I've got a feeling it's just not going to last very long. Don't worry guys, I'll be the product tester. And FYI, those are one to two kilo category packages, which is quite annoying. Now remember, I don't need to be packaging these items just yet. I've got until Tuesday slash Wednesday. I'm just getting ahead of myself. Because why not? Right, should we pick a winner, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do that. I've only got four things left to pack. Can't be asked. Let's set the tripod up. Come on. Come on. Time for someone to pick a winner. Let me just go and get my video. We are a... I'll watch your channel because there it is. So, so the special word on here is I watch your channel because that's what I ask people to type. That's what people should have typed. Anything does not go. Custom filter. I watch your channel because. I watch your channel because. Continue. 43 entrants. Pick a winner for a sticker and the winner is... Power Rocker. I watch your channel because James Collect stops making videos. No other reason. Well, that's a fucking par, isn't it? Reach out, Power Rocker. Your sticker's on its way. By the way, James Collects has about 15,000 new channels. Here they all are. Please go over and subscribe to him because he's being very coy and he's not promoting himself for a reason because he wants people to see how it grows organically. But guess what, bitch? It doesn't work like that. Here's all James's channels. All right. On that note, love you and leave you. Thanks for watching. Just a few sales and a few bits and pieces. And we had a little chat, didn't we? We had a heart to heart. We had a little bit of a speak about this and a speak about that. Who knows what? Sunday today. Hopefully you get a bank holiday Monday car boot and you can all go and smash it. Take care. Love you all. Bye.